what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today in this video we're going to talk about nine mega cap stocks in this video but before we get started please hit that thumbs up button that is greatly appreciated and that really helps out with YouTube algorithm and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and now let's get right into it guys welcome back everybody so what happened last week on friday we saw a massive massive face ripper in this market and everything rallied on friday and mega caps talking about microsoft going up eight dollars on the day it was up to 329 and still sitting at 329 after hour on friday apple also going up and we made a massive trade on apple and i did mention that before in my video we got that dip on Apple at 167, one, under 168, uh, 170 calls. And what happened, guys? We sold all the runners last week on Friday on that massive rally above 177. We caught a 10 plus dollar move on Apple, and that was really huge money maker. And that was a swing trade. And if you want to get setups like those and you want to help out the channel and you want to support my channel, definitely check out the link below in the description for patreon and once you join you get three days of live trading monday through wednesday and also all my setups in real time so microsoft is up 2.47 percent almost eight dollars up on the day a massive massive rally to the upside and looks like early as monday we could see microsoft retesting resistant trend line right here around 3:30. And if that breaks, you're going to see another explosion on Microsoft all the way up to 339 and possibly filling this gap at some point just above 345. Now, this thing gets rejected from uh, 330. Watch out for this to put down here. Red line 50 SMA, 325. And then we also have 20 SMA sitting down here, 323. And then the support down here, 320, 317, 69. 13 day moving average right here and then the big support down here 316 so we got a lot of support and uh, Microsoft now trading above all these moving averages right here on this daily chart and that is looking bullish in the short term on Nvidia stock it's up 2.40 percent 11 dollars up on the day now I know a lot of you guys are eyeing it and you can possibly see it right here we got this head left shoulder and now we are forming right shoulder on nvidia now if this thing cannot break above i would say 460 we stay under 460 this thing uh consolidate right here just like we did here and then drops again you're going to see this head and shoulder pattern playing out but knowing nvidia guys nothing is guaranteed this thing breaks above 460 you're going to see NVIDIA going up to retest that all-time high we had a few days ago, 482. Now to the downside, now we have support down here around 450, and that is a strong support right here. And below that, we also have support down here, 445, 436, 67, and then all the way down here, we also have support 431, 42, and then this trend line right here, and that is around 4. 24 so we have a lot of support on nvidia right now and this thing definitely looks like it's a breakout but also this head and shoulder pattern you got to keep that in mind that nvidia cannot break above this uh neckline then watch out i mean we could form a nice shoulder right here and at some point i said it before so many times even if this thing gets that breakout and hits a new all-time high it does not change anything at some point nvidia will come down and fill this gap and then this massive gap and i'm going to give you guys uh another example why it's going to happen i just can't tell you when that's going to happen but it's going to happen at some point nvidia will come down and fill this massive gap right here from uh earnings on AMD, it's up 4.21%, a massive rally here on AMD, and finally getting up above this resistant trend line, and now it's a breakout on AMD, and looks like it's holding above 
all the moving averages right here on this daily chart and also holding 50 day moving average right here 106 so 106 will be a key level of support to watch and below that all the way down here around 105 and then 103 possibly will come back and retest this breakout down here now to the upside above 106 the next stop 109.28 and then at some point maybe not next week AMD can come up here to fill this gap 115.49 this Bollinger Band on top will expand slowly to the upside and then you are going to see AMD heading even higher as long as we're above this support down here 106 50 day moving average on AMD on Apple stock it's up 1.48% and now it's trading above 177 now look at this when people are saying crashes here and this is exactly what I got. People thought that market would crash and Apple stock also going down. But I told you guys before that look at this Bollinger Band. We're seeing it's curling up and uh, heading higher. So Apple not coming down. Also, I did mention in my video so many times and any one of you guys watching my video and just taking notes. I said it in my video. Apple stock gets down here close to this gap I'm buying that dip and what happened we got that exactly I saw Apple stock below 168 and I bought the dip swing trade and I kept you know uh, runners 20 of them 170 call sold on Friday right here above 177 and that was one of the biggest swing we had in last maybe few weeks this thing paid and look at this candle now easily can go up to 180 plus so on apple going into next week on monday on a pullback now we have to put down here 177 and if that gives up down here also close to 174 to 175 we got 20 day moving average right here on apple and then this big support down here 173 apple can hold above 177 you're going to see a rally all the way up to 180 and then the gap above 181.47 we also have earnings coming here on apple and it's not too far away guys uh not even a month so watch out here on apple we could see more upside above 177. on google stock it's up two percent and i'm waiting to see what happens when google uh touches uh, this trend line that uh, we got this breakdown and now we're going back up and uh, 140 also a big resistance right here on Google stock this thing can hit it and then possibly come down again now all the mega caps the only thing I can see Bollinger Bands are squeezing even this one here guys the lower one not really going anywhere and the upper one pretty much flat right here so I don't see Google going up that much maybe 140 142 highest it can go for now and also to the downside now we have support right here around uh, 137 to 138 and if that gives up we also have support down here around 135 as strong support on google stock we saw that pullback on friday and look at it guys i mean pretty much uh, right at the support 135 and then we saw that big bounce all the way up to 139.19 so google now we could see a little bit more upside possibly up to 140 to 142 and if there is a pullback you want to watch uh, 138 as a support and then 135. on amazon stock it's up 1.59 percent and amazon again slightly undercutting under the support 126 and then again with the market and all the other mega caps rallying back up all the way up to 128.45 and now pretty much closing right on this 13 day moving average right here this orange line 128 so amazon now we have resistance and support right here around 128 uh we're kind of flat right at 128 so 128 can hold you're going to see more upside we got some unfinished business on top this gap so 128 can hold the next stop 130 130 to 85 and then the gap above right here just under 136 to the downside 128 breaks 
we also have this strong support down here 126 which i don't think this thing will break 126 and go down next week i think amazon heading up for this gap and we could see that early as next week amazon filling this gap on top at 135.20 so keep an eye out here on amazon there could be a lot more money to be made on amazon as long as we're above 126 this one will move higher to this gap and that could be huge guys i mean that is what a seven dollar move on amazon that's really big if you can catch it but watch this put down here though 126 Amazon cannot hold 126 then watch out for a flush all the way down to 118 and now that we got this Bollinger Band coming down all the way down to 118 I mean Amazon breaks below 126 you're going to see that flush all the way down to 118 and that is also a big level of support on Amazon on Meta it's up 3.49 percent and this is one of the biggest rally we have seen on Meta in last few weeks right here guys i mean this is crazy finally we got that breakout right here above 305 and look at this i said it before 305 breaks you're going to see a quick trip all the way up to right here to this bollinger band and to this uh, resistance right here at 316 and look at what happened 316 exactly just like i said before right here so now meta that's a breakout also it's overbought look at this upper bollinger band sitting at 312.74 and the stock itself trading at 316 there is no more room here on meta to run to the upside so in the short term if there is a pullback we do have support around 312 and then watch out for the support down here around 305 and that would be a retest of this breakout that would be nice to buy this dip down here but if this thing breaks above 316 now also overbought can stay overbought and we have seen that before on meta uh, running above upper bollinger band and going higher and then we get a pullback after maybe you know uh three four days so this thing can run definitely above 316 the next stop all the way up here around 326 so watch out for a pullback from 316 down to 312 305 and those are going to be strong levels on Meta, especially this one down here, 305, to buy the dip on a retest of this breakout. Below 305, we also have support down here around uh, 302 and then 300. So Tesla is flat on the day Friday. We saw everything else going up, but Tesla is flat on the day, cannot break 262. Also, we got some, I don't know how would I say that, that if that's a bad news or good news, but you know cutting uh prices down again i don't think that's a really good news we saw a drop on tesla but of course you know uh cheaper things are uh they're going to sell even more you know i mean i would buy a model 3 for what uh 35 grand then a regular price uh would probably cost uh 50 plus thousand so you know there's a discount of course people are going to buy it but the profit margin are going to come down because you're selling the product for less you know uh amount of money and you are cutting it down so and then you're gonna make it uh even cheaper the materials you're gonna use to make those cars are gonna be cheaper because otherwise you're not going to make any money so i mean i don't find it too crazy but i think it's good for like you know buyers like us consumers you know if we're buying a car uh, and it's cheaper especially with the rates that we got right now it's actually uh, good to buy uh, cheap cars than just go and buy something really expensive because uh, if you get like loan for that car it's gonna be a crazy amount that you gotta pay every month so on tesla guys 262 that's gonna be the level to break and if that breaks it's gone 280 the next stop that's coming on tesla now below 262 it's holding 20 day moving average right here we have support 258 and uh, it's also trading above all these moving averages right here on this daily chart so tesla 258 support we also have support at 255 five day moving average right here and then big support and that would be a dip buy if there is a pullback down to 252 
Now 252 gives up, then this thing is going to land all the way down here around uh, 241 right here. And that is also another big level of support. Uh, it held so many times. It was rejected here also before uh, multiple times and it was holding before right here. So 240 to 241, that is a great buying opportunity on Tesla. But if this thing staying above, especially all these moving averages right here, and breaking out above 262, then you're going to have to watch Tesla and this thing will move. This thing can move all the way up to 280 and we got some unfinished business on top, this gap, and that would be massive if this thing gets up to uh, close to 290, guys. So Tesla could be a big runner going into next week as long as we get that breakout above 262. Otherwise, I mean, uh, we could see a lot more chop here on Tesla between uh, 252 and 262 until we get that breakout here on Tesla above 262. So Netflix also up on the day 2.39% from the same low that we got on Thursday, pretty much getting closer to that low and then bouncing all the way up to 382.52 and now above 376. Finally, we're getting a rally on Netflix, um, almost up $9 on the day. Uh, we haven't seen Netflix going up that much or at least holding you know, that much gain in one day in last one month. So now on Netflix, we have support around 380 and below that 376. Above 380, you're going to see Netflix running. And we also have earnings coming, uh, not next week, but the following week right here. This thing above 380, you could see earnings run up on Netflix all the way up to 391, 20 day moving average right here. And above this breakout right here, you could see more upside all the way up to 400 and then 406. But watch this to put down here, guys, 376, because if that gives up and Netflix stays under 376, there could be more downside down to this gap, 341.38. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching.